Hi guys, Odun Olaye and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the coronavirus, which is now a global pandemic that has been declared as that by the WHO. So today we're going to talk about everything you need to know about the coronavirus, starting from misconceptions to actual true facts and how you can protect yourself and your loved ones. With me here is Dr. Bakone Yanu Hello everyone, how are you doing? And he's going to be helping me debunk some misconceptions and he's also going to be talking about precautions that we can take to make sure that we are well protected. So jump in right into it, Dr. Yanu, are you ready? Yes, I am. So, we're going to talk about eight misconceptions, eight, you can see my other finger, eight of them, and then we'll now move from them forward to protecting yourself. So number one of these misconceptions is, can spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body kill the new coronavirus? No, it won't help. You see, coronavirus is ultimately still a respiratory virus, so it means it wants to get into your to your face, probably enter through your nostrils, your eyes, and cause the infection. So, why would you want to put alcohol say, on your feet? Because really, it would not matter. Like all over your body. All I mean, that's. Why? Why? It wouldn't matter. You see, it does not stay long on those places, you just want to enter to your body and cause the infection. So, spraying it all over your body is not safe. Spraying not even on your face. It's not safe. Not even on your face. You should not spray alcohol all over your body. Chlorine, why? Why did you even do that? <laughs> no, they want no. to be safe. Please, we understand how serious coronavirus is. As of this morning, when I was making this video, they have spread to 150 countries and over 7,000 deaths have been recorded. So it is serious, and that's why these misconceptions are also need also need to be dealt with seriously. So people don't do wrong things to take the right actions, something like that. Like the British buying all of the toilets, toilet papers. I mean. So that's number one. Number two, uh, coronavirus only kills the elderly, so younger people can relax. No. So you see, um, yes, coronavirus will strive in your patients and affect someone who has any debilitating condition. Sadly, old age is in, in a way a debilitating condition because there is reduction in the immune system. But then, young men who drink who take a lot of shisha, you know, you smoke oh, and all, yeah. you're also at risk. Impairing your immune system. And you are at risk too. So, I mean, it also affects very young ones. Now, the thing with this is, even if you are fit, just like myself, I think I'm fit. So, if you are fit, you don't have to be careless because you might not have symptoms, but then you might infect those who matter, those who you care about, and they die. I mean, if it is avoidable, please do so. Everybody should be careful because even if you are safe, someone beside you might, might not be safe. Mm -hmm. So be careful. About it. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Number three, are hand dryers effective in killing the new coronavirus? Straight up, no. They're not. After washing your hands appropriately, I believe. In that that is a picture of proper hand washing. After washing your hand perfectly, you don't need eye dryers. It's not going to kill the virus. More so, you've already washed your hands. So, so who said you don't have the virus for your hands again? So, no need for hand dryers. So, number four, can pets at home spread the new coronavirus? No. The last thing I read around that, they don't. It does not leave you long on their skin, on their falls, and not. so no, they cannot. You can pamper your cats and your dogs. But still maintain normal still, animals. Yeah, because you could be infected with salmonella and some other stuff, even from the dogs and cats. Salmonella is like a bacterial infection. Yes, a bacterial infection, not COVID-19. So, number five, can eating garlic help prevent influenza? Yes, garlic helps prevent influenza. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So, number six, can eating garlic help prevent infection with new coronavirus? Your mouth will just be smelling. You know how garlic is? No, no, it does not prevent against the infection, yeah? Don't, and even if you're going to eat it for its other benefits, wash them out eh? before you talk to people. Don't make them. You use use mouth wash. Very important. So number six, are antibiotics effective in preventing and treating the new coronavirus? No, they are not. Antibiotics are actually to treat bacteria. COVID-19 is the virus. You see, you see the difference? So even if there were to be a drug, it's going to be antiviral. So antibiotics don't treat it. Maybe if there are patients who are sick in the hospital and you want to treat with superimposed bacterial infection, but not for you to go outside there and just buy antibiotics to use. No, it doesn't work that way. Yeah? Okay, thank you, Dr. Yang.
So number seven, which is second to the last, are there any specific medicines to prevent or treat the new coronavirus? No. As of now, WHO has not working with every other organization in other countries, CDC and the rest, they've not been able to come up with a cure, a drug, a specific drug to treat COVID-19. Maintain proper hygiene. If you have few symptoms, see your doctor. Don't get any time about it. So number eight wishes, the last one. Getting the coronavirus is a good thing. No. It is not dead. So you know, Mikel Ateta has it, Idris Elba. Idris <laughs> Elba! The love of the lives of a lot of ladies. I'm so pleased! It and all. Oh Chances are they Everyone. will survive. Amen. Reason being that still the fatality rate is low, relatively early, and if there are no other debilitating conditions, you will probably survive. So, no, it's not a good Yeah, I actually read that a lot the greater percentage of our demand. Yeah, my just have just typical music. So, now we have talked about the eight misconceptions. So, we're going to move straight into the safety precautions. Just that we I, I, as of now, I'm shooting this vlog from. Nigeria and um, yesterday it was discovered another case was discovered making it a third case that was discovered in Nigeria and as of just today when I was shooting this vlog I heard about that it was a case that was discovered at one of the NYSE camps so it's important that even though you are thinking that you might not get it, you might not get it, that we would be protecting them so what are the safety precautions that you need to see? Yeah, straight off proper and worship yes. Cannot be over emphasized. You have to wash with soap, soap and water. Take your time. Yes. To wash. Yes. You can also use hand sanitizers. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about social distancing. No, we are not going to see <laughs> that. you are not going to see it. Social distancing, we advise that at least one meter away from people, if possible, especially those who have few symptoms. They are coughing, they are sneezing. For your own sake, keep that distance. And those of you who are coughing and sneezing, you might survive it because you probably don't have any other condition. Please, whenever you want to cough or sneeze, just down, just like Puba. Just into <laughs> your elbow. You get it? So when you get home, you wash. If you can't do that, get tissue paper, sneeze or cough into it, and dispose immediately. Now, when you dispose immediately, it is better and safer to so also wash your hands afterwards. Yes. Oh, okay, so I think um, avoid yeah. touching your eyes and your Really? Face. A lot of us are that my OCD to, you know, just touch part of my face and all. If you know you can't avoid it, wash your hands before doing it. And then carry hand sanitizer. And after you're through, wash your hands again. But all in all, it's just best that right now, tell your hands not to go near your face. Let them press your phones, let them do every other thing, but not your face during this time. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Yan. I think what are the signs and symptoms that we can have? Yeah, it's just usually the typical flu symptoms. There might be cough, which you might sneeze over time. There might be fever, usually mild fever. There could be tiredness too. So, in a way, maybe other than general body weakness and fever that comes down and go, you might even think it is malaria, but then you see that this fever does not come maybe only in the evening or something. It's just there. You need to mild, look mild fever and all. And you're probably coughing, sneezing to typical flu symptoms. You know what we call Kadar? Let's have this child. If you have any of that right now, it is best that you don't just treat it the way you have done before now. Go to the hospital, get checked up. Don't self-medicate. When you have any of those flu symptoms, just separate. Eh? Try to do some self-isolation from there. Go and see the doctor. You know, this is not just for you. You have to protect your family. So you have to notice if you have any of those symptoms. And you know, see a doctor. This is no time for self-medication. Eh? And don't believe the lie that this temperature will not allow yes, the coronavirus like, like, to strive. It doesn't strive in humans. Sadly, it is striving. <laughs> right now, <laughs> and I'm not. That would be political, so I'm not going to push it. So it is sadly enough, it is striving. So please don't believe that lie. Don't believe the lie that Melanie protects you against it. 
Melanie. Yeah, no, 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 COVID-19, it's very important that we all protect ourselves. Even if not for yourself, but for people. And my name is Tim Reza Nola. Thank you so much, Dr. Yaki, for coming on. Subscribe. Yes, don't forget. Thank you. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel for other juicy and stuff. And click on the notification button. Yes. So click. As it is hot, you just watch. You understand? You understand? And if you want to buy it, you know. Just send your money to our country. Mm -hmm. I still need some. Really need okay, some. So, thank, thank you guys you. so much for watching my channel. Thank you for I'm watching. sending you all the love and nice that I can from hospital. And I brought you this vlog from my hostel at Jenkins State University Teaching Hospital. And it's a doctor here too. So, if you hear any of this, pardon us. So, medical student can be close to. So, uh, so I'll be waiting next time. Yeah. Sending you love and love. Bye.